I've got a cleared preset over here, and I'm going to import some audio. And I've got a little vocal Apple loop that I like, and this is what it sounds like. Feels so right, feels so right inside. So I'm just going to drag it in over here, and I'm going to use sampler import method, and there we go. Now I can trigger it from my keyboard. Feel so right, feel so, feel. So I'm going to go into the edit mode here, and we're going to look at the zone waveform editor over here. So here's the sample, and we can see the root pitch is E flat, but I want to change it to C so I can trigger it on my keyboard from C. Feel so right, feel so right inside. Now, first thing I want to do is trim the start and end positions of this sample because there's a lot of dead air. So I'm going to drag this up, and I'm going to Use maybe just the first half of this. So I'll drag it there like that. And we can zoom. And this applies to this area of the interface as well. We can zoom using this over here. And then the middle becomes a scroll bar. So I can tighten it right up like that. And let's listen. Feel so right. So that's great. I've trimmed the sample and I can use that now. But I can also loop either all of it or portions of it. So let's say I want to loop part of it. I'm going to turn on the loop mode here, and we see two new flags that have been created, a start loop marker and an end loop marker. So I'm going to drag it, and maybe I want to loop the word so. So I'm going to drag this, and let's hear that. Feel so, 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 so. Now when I release it, it ends, and when I go to sustain and I release it, it'll sound the same. Feel so, so, so. It's playing through, but it's not playing through long enough to hear the rest of it. So what I'm going to do is just close this for a moment and increase the release time so that we can hear the whole sample play out and explore the effects of these two modes. So here's continuous mode. Feel so, 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 so. So it's a long release and it's just looping through that section. But in sustain mode, when I release the key, it'll then play through the rest of the zone. Feel so, 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 so right. Now, you can hear there's a little bit of a click when it's repeating this so. Let me zoom a little bit over here. And what we can do is press this loop crossfade button. And this only appears when we import in sampler mode like we did. But it'll basically introduce a little crossfade flag that we can use to set a crossfade range and smooth out the transition. Feel so, 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 so right. So that works a lot better. And I can, of course, loop maybe a smaller part. Feel so, so, so right. Feel so, 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 so right. So again, you hear the artifacts there without the crossfade. And generally, for those kinds of little clicks, you need a very small crossfade. Feel so, 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 so right. Feel so, 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 so right. So depending on the effect you want, you can play with the crossfade length like that. So that's a little overview of this zone waveform editor and its main functions, basically trimming the start and end points of regions and setting loop points. And here, of course, we control the loop mode and we can go forward and backward as well. And maybe we want the crossfade for that. And let's lengthen it. Feel so, 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 so. Getting a little bit of a tick there. Feel so, 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 so. Feel so, 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 so. So those are the different loop modes and the ways of using these parameters. We'll continue with more in the next video.